improved bone loss and improved distribution of fighting forces. Crowns are then placed over each implant. The additional implant may also help to increase the success rate or longevity of treatment.
Standard abutments are attached to the implants to prepare for the placement of the crowns. The crowns are then cemented to the implants as one piece. This option most closely resembles the look and feel of natural teeth, while virtually eliminating bone loss. Dental implants will provide you with a stable and long-term solution that reduces the pain, discomfort, instability, and bone loss that denture patients experience. Natural teeth are held by their roots in the jawbone. When we lose a tooth, the extracted root creates an opening. The maxillary sinuses are located in the cheekbones below your eyes. bone loss, and over time, the sinus will expand into the area previously occupied by bone and teeth. If a dental implant is placed into inadequate bone, it will move, shift, and fail because there isn't enough stability to withstand forces of biting and chewing. A sinus graft begins with a temporary opening made in one of two possible areas. An instrument then modifies the sinus membrane to its previous position, providing clearance for the placement of substitute bone. Enough support for the placement of a dental implant. Over time, the implant and substitute bone will heal, creating a strong bond and stable foundation for your new replacement teeth. Prior to bone loss, the block 
is secured in place and the surrounding area is covered with additional bone product to help create a more natural shape. A specialized membrane is then placed over the site to improve healing. When the bone has successfully matured, the titanium screws are removed. This type of bone grafting can restore severe cases of bone loss, making it possible to successfully place dental implants and enjoy the benefits of secure replacement teeth.
I would like you to, to live here after these three days thinking that the implantology only appears a simple thing okay but if you try to study implantology uh, the technologies will open in a big door let me explain to you uh, normally I consider okay not for you here because you are all starting but uh, I say it in Brazil that's why I'm here uh, in Brazil we have uh, one of the most important uh, implantology in the world okay uh, it's not my, <laughs> my, my opinion okay I just can say you that nowadays Dr. Bradmar is living in Brazil living Okay. That's why. Uh, in Brazil we have a big technology and it's one of the most, uh, one of the, I think we only have uh, in Brazil and we, maybe USA that we have the master's course, PhD course and specialist course in implantology. Normally, I give, I give courses in many countries in the world and uh, it's difficult to see a, a course of uh, a specialization, a master's degree course or a PhD course in implantology. Normally, uh, it's a, a surgeon, a maxillofacial surgeon or a, a periodontist or a prosthodontic these guys normally does uh, uh, implantology, does the implants, okay? But nowadays in Brazil, we have this speciality, yeah? And uh, you have to study for implantology. So, that's an idea for you, okay? Everybody is starting. So, let's think that implantology, we have to study and study very good. Why? Why we have to study a lot in ontology? Because the basic concept is uh, was done, was uh, explained for Dr. Bradmar. But with the technologies that we have in all the world, some concepts may change every day. Did you understand? That's why we have to every day, every day, to access periodics, to access new uh, researches and some things like that. Okay? So, that's the first thing that I want to pass you. If you start to work with dental implants, you have to know that dental implants needs you, a dedication. Okay? Which type of education? Actualization. Okay? Always reading new research because something may change during the use. Okay? Very good. Other thing that I say to you. Input. It's not difficult. If I say to you that I have a bone, my patient, bone, to drill it and place a screw, an implant, it's easy, easy, okay? It's not difficult. The difficult part in implantology is to planify the case, okay? Why planify the case? Because dental implants need uh, a specific load, a specific power. Okay? Titanium is a good metal. Yeah, it's a good metal. Support force. Yeah, support forces. But if we think that a bite, a metal bite, still can arrive uh, until 380 newtons yeah it's 
instrument. So, a metal can fracture. First, the first idea, always think. I have my implant here. I have my implant up here. Which type of forces this implant may receive? Only axial forces. Okay? Vertical forces. When you start picking some type of horizontal forces, oblique forces, implants become a little bit Okay? Which thing will determine the success and the failure of this? How much this horizontal force has? For example, I have only 50 newtons bite. Good. But if your patient has two Newton's bite and horizontal force or oblique force, okay, it can fracture. Okay, so if always possible, if it's possible, always must receive vertical forces or forces. Okay, that's the idea. That's why uh, many engineers in the world, okay, study this force, okay, if you have uh, this type of thread, if you have this type of thread, if you have uh, many types of thread, always think in force, okay, just one thing more, if you have some doubts, you can stand up your hand, okay, Uh, that's it. To place an implant position, it's easy. It's not difficult. The only problem is how we will respect this type of force. And now, nowadays, is the most thing we hear in the world. How we can have a If we go to a Congress in the USA, like an American of uh, integration, that is the most important uh, Congress in the world uh, who speaks in implantology, uh, you, you can hear only one thing I expect. One thing. Because Up to in this position. I 
Hadith Anan kau dapat memiliki Okay So in the second stage We try to To Create new types of abutment For this So these cases Where place implants In different positions Okay Now we don't work with implants in different positions. I'm telling you, the, the newest things that we talk in implant okay? Nowadays, in the excellence of implant we don't place implants in different positions. We only place implants in the ideal position. Why the ideal position? When you place an implant, you have to this implant may stay in the mouth of the 